So I have these boxes of sheet film. I bought a camera, and the guy threw these in there with it. Uh, I don't have a medium format camera, so I was thinking of things that I could do with it. So I was thinking, and then I realized I've got negatives, and I have an enlarger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these negatives, and I'm going to enlarge it onto a piece of sheet film, see what happens. So I should get a positive image, like a slide. So what I'm going to do is, in complete darkness, I'm going to take one of the sheets out of that box, I'm going to place it onto this carrier, and then this is for photo paper. I just lined up the image so it's slightly indented, but I'm using the neg or the photo carrier or the photo paper carrier, so I don't have to guess. It's already lined up, so I'll show you what the picture looks like. <clears throat> So it's going to look like that, and so you can see uh, how it lines up. We've got a little bit of a border right there, and a little bit of a border right here, there, and there. Uh, so I have the exposure time to be very short because it's a piece of film. So this is how fast it's going to be, just like that, very quick. Uh, and then after I do that, I'll, I'll do that once, and then what I'll do, I'll turn the lights back on. So then, also still in complete darkness, I'm going to take that piece of film from over there, I'm going to bring it here, place it in the developer, develop it, place it in the stop, and the fixer, I've got the water over there, and then I also have the orbit bath here, and the photo flow. So, this is going to be interesting, um, especially doing it in the dark. I think this is how color prints are made, because you can't have any light because of that paper. So, we'll try this out and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I am done developing. I haven't turned on the lights yet, so we're going to see what it looks like together. Hopefully, something showed up. Uh, it's been about 40 minutes since the first part. And the light switch. Alright, so let's take a look. And I see a black square in there. Let's get a tongs. So it looks very dark. Oh, I see an image. It worked. I can't believe it. It actually worked. Look at that. So I am. I'll need to figure out a way to hang this up so it doesn't damage it, and then I will be right back. Okay, so instead of using these little clamps to dry it, I didn't want there to get any marks on it. So I decided just to get a little dish here and lean it into there. Um, when it's dry in a minute, I'll put it on the light table. Uh, I can already see right, right here. You can see there's that little... It's not going to focus. You can see there's like the scratches or some some sort of something on there. Um, I think that's when I was pulling it out of the package and looking for the notch. I might have scratched it with my fingernail. Uh, but other than that, this is looking pretty good. I don't know what's... It looks like there's dust or something on there. I might have to run it through the photo flow really quick once again. Okay, so here are the results after it's dried. That's without the light. Turn it on there. Try to get the exposure correct on the phone. So that's what it looks like. It doesn't look the best on the phone screen, so I'll take a picture of it later. Um, but that's on the warm tone. 
I'll move it over here. Uh, one of the things that I noticed um, is it's not exactly straight and centered. It's uh, a little, a little down right there, and a little too close right there. Um, and then I also noticed there's like a, a scratch mark right here, and then there's a, a little fingerprint right there. So it's probably I'll probably try doing this again. Um, to see if it can work better. Uh, there we go. But overall I'm surprised with the results that something actually showed up.